it's me Jessica DeLeon and welcome or welcome back to my channel today I am going to be doing a lip gloss collection I am a self-proclaimed lip gloss junkie I absolutely am obsessed with lip gloss it is my favorite kind of lip product by far I pretty much only wear lip gloss and I have a ton of it so I just wanted to share my collection with you guys especially while we're in quarantine a little video to help kind of entertain you guys so if you're interested in seeing what's in my collection then keep on watching so let's go ahead and start off with beauty store lip gloss and I have all of the flavors and these are the Vita lip oil lip glosses the first one I'm gonna show you guys is the rose hip oil and these are to me medium shine medium stickiness and medium slip this one obviously smells like rose and this one says it reduces fine lines on lips, moisturizes and heals, and contains a vitamin A. The next one is the Argan Oil Lip Gloss. This says it moisturizes skin, protects and heals, and contains a vitamin E. This one smells like baby powder. It's the same consistency as all of the others. Like I said, medium slip, medium shine, and medium stickiness. This one is the Coconut Oil and it smells like coconut but very artificial coconut and this one is i feel like a little bit more slip on the lips and this one hydrates lips locks in moisture and shine without stickiness this is the mango butter this one smells like mango but artificial mango this one says it hydrates skin softens skin and contains multivitamins the next one is the mint oil this one has a little bit of a minty tingle to it which i don't like so i don't really use this one it has cooling effect refreshing tingle soothes cracked lips and yeah that one's the mint oil and then i have one more cocoa so that is it for the vita lips um, from the beauty supply store so there are all of the flavors for one dollar. Okay, so next on the list are two really hyped ones from Instagram. These are the Starry Honeys. And I have the Clear Watermelon and Pink Apple. Yeah, they're super sticky, but they're super shiny. They don't have like a really slick slip to them. Usually are about a dollar. I would say these are good, but they're kind of small. They don't have any scent. I can't smell it. So that was a little disappointing, but they are very high shine. So obviously they're gonna last a really long time. But other than that, they're just like super cute, like 90s packaging. So that is the Starry Honeys. Let me show you guys the Victoria's Secrets. The Victoria's Secrets have a new formula now. I don't know when that changed, but these are extremely moisturizing. They have a very nice slip to them. They're not at all sticky, but they do not have very high shine. They're very low shine lip glosses. So you're gonna have to build these up quite a bit, but they have extremely good smells to them. They all do. This one is Juicy Melon. And this one has a little hint of pink to it, which I absolutely love. And it just smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. And I just, yeah, I love it. And then this is the pink mimosa, which I love because it's got glitter in it. So it's amazing to layer with a really high shine gloss over top. This is one of my favorites. You can see all that glitter in there. It's really pretty. And this one also smells amazing maybe a little strawberry-ish but I don't know it smells great so another one of my favorites and then this one is called kiwi blush and smells oh my god smells like kiwi but like times 10 candy scent it's just amazing but I love the little pinky tint to it. it smells good it's moisturizing so these are the Victoria Secrets lip glosses that I have 
So the next one is going to be Beauty Store brand, and these are the NK lip glosses. Now this one is the Lip Gel Vitamin E Clear, and this one is super, super sticky, but it's high, high, high shine. This is more of kind of like a lip topper, lip lacquer, laminate kind of lip gloss, like put over something else. Um, I wouldn't really wear this by itself because it's super sticky, not a whole lot of moisture. This one is what I keep if I'm gonna be doing something with color or something else and then I want like a high shine over it. So, and it's only a dollar, it ain't bad. And the next NK is one of my absolute favorites. This is a little bit sticky for me, for my liking, but I love the smell. Oh my God, it smells so good. It's supposed to be bubblegum. I can't say that it smells like bubblegum to me. I don't really know what to say it smells like, but it has vitamin E in it and just that pinky kind of hot pink magenta tint to it is so pretty on the lips i usually have to layer this with something else and then put this on as like a shine over top but i love it i just love this this is one of my favorites hands down and only for a dollar like yes it's a win the next one is also going to be beauty store and this is the rk by kiss and this one is the jelly licious line and this one is called Ice Kiss. Well, it's got a very fresh smell, but the applicator is kind of weird the way it curves. So it's really hard to apply it to the lips, but it is a very good slip. Um, it's pretty good on moisture, and but it doesn't last too long. Other than the application tip, which I don't like, it's actually not a bad lip gloss. This one is a little bit more expensive than a dollar. I think it's like $2 or $3, I can't remember but it's still a really good lip gloss from the beauty store, so. Next, as another beauty store lip gloss, is this RK by Kiss Hydrating Lip Oil. This is also another really hyped up lip gloss. My daughter really likes this one. I don't at all like it, mainly because it has the menthol in it, and I hate menthol. This one, to me, is just a regular mediocre lip gloss. It's medium stickiness, medium slip, medium shine. And as far as moisture goes, um, I don't know. To me, it's just like another lip gloss. So I don't know, but a lot of people like it and it's only a dollar. So let's go with ones I got from Ulta. Now I have really been liking Ulta lip glosses lately and I am really obsessed with this one from Ulta. This is their clear jelly lip gloss and it's called Waves. Now this one to me is light to medium stickiness, high shine, and light to medium slip. Um, I do still find that I have to put a little something underneath this, but I absolutely love the smell of it. It smells a lot like that Jellylicious one. It's got a very fresh scent to it. This is like pretty much if I'm gonna do a clear lip gloss, this is what I use, what I wear. This is the Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil. And I was really reluctant to get this because it's orange. These are so popular, like this is all they had left was just this tangerine one, like all the other flavors were gone. So I was like, uh, but I really wanted to try it and I am obsessed with it. I love it. That's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. And yeah, I just, and I usually don't even like doe foot applicators, but this stuff is so good. As you can tell, I've been using it a little bit because it was a little bit more full than this. This stuff is so good. Flip on this is slick. The smell is like a tangerine candy. The color, if you can tell, it's kind of like a, it has an orange, but it just mixes really well. It kind of gives me that nudish look. It's super moisturizing and everything shiny. I just absolutely am obsessed. So this is like my new favorite lip gloss out of all my lip glosses. This is my absolute favorite right now. And I'm using it like crazy. These are amazing. Um, they're worth it. 
yeah, loving this lip oil. Highly recommended. Okay, so another Ulta Beauty um, product is the Radiant Rose. And these are their um, lip oil infused with chamomile. They have another um, flavor and this is their pink version. It smells like a rose, really good. And this is super, super slick on the lips. Like even more so than the one I just showed you. This stuff is like liquid glass. It doesn't last as long, but it is so slick and melty and shiny. It is amazing. It's super moisturizing. You do not have to put anything else on with this. It is really like a true lip gloss, lip oil hybrid, like to the T. And some people may not like that, that it's super slippy, but I love it. It's one of my favorites and highly recommend. Okay, so following with the Ulta Beauty trend, I'm gonna be showing you the Lip Quench Hydrating Balms. These shine like a gloss. They're buttery smooth. They're moisturizing. They smell like apple because they're made with apple seed oil. I mean, they have vitamin E. They are amazing. I absolutely am obsessed and love these. This is pretty much the only lip balm that I will use aside from like one other one. These are so good and they shine like a lip gloss. So another Ulta Beauty, highly recommended. Um, let me just show you what it looks like. It's kind of like, um, yeah, like that but it's super shiny. This is a lip balm and on the lips, it shines even more, like it's amazing. And it smells like an apple, like, like a sweet red apple. It's amazing, I love it. Highly recommended. The next one is this Kylie one. This is Kylie Clear. This one actually has very light, I don't know if you can tell, a little bit of glitter which I didn't even know this is supposed to be extremely high shine lip gloss and it definitely is I was really loving this one because I like anything kind of pink tinted but I will have to say that it didn't really come with a lot of product in the tube which was kind of disappointing for $15 it goes really really fast it smells like a like cake or a cupcake or something like frosting or something it's a good lip gloss it's um, not too sticky it's I'd say light to medium stickiness high high shine this is the Kylie clear next I'm gonna show you are the Laneige glowy lip balm and these are very moisturizing they shine like a gloss all, all smell amazing i'm missing all but one flavor which is the green one which i think is the pear i have the berry the peach and the grapefruit these are for 15 dollars or something like that but these are also also highly recommended high shine really moisturizing um they all have a little bit of a tent to them and these are just really good lip balm lip glosses so the next two are from bath and body works these are the bigelow co brand this is the mentha supreme 2x vanilla mint i really really like this lip gloss if it didn't have the mint in it this would be like my number one or one of my top threes the shine on this is amazing the slip on this is amazing the moisture is amazing the smell is amazing this is an overall super good super amazing lip product so if you don't mind mint you will absolutely love 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 this lip product one of the best and then i have the other Bigelow Co. This is Mintha Lip Tint, and this is pink, and that's why I bought it, because I just love that little bit of a milky pink, and this one just smells straight like mint, which I don't like, so I don't use it, but also same amount of slip as the other one, same kind of shine, and this is also just another really great product. So yeah, if you like or don't mind mint, these are super great lip glosses. Uh, the next one is Glossier, and this is also a hyped up one from Instagram and here on YouTube. 
This one is $15. It's kind of got like a pinky tint, which I really was attracted to because I love that and lip gloss. It is it's pretty good on shine. It's like light to medium slip. I'd say light, I'd say medium to high shine. And the smell, I don't know, kind of a chemically smell. Um, nothing really good that I can say about the scent, but it's, it's an okay lip gloss. My daughter loves this stuff, so she keeps wanting more and using it. That's the Glossier one. The next one I have, this one actually is one of the only ones, or one of the other only ones that has like a tint to it. This is the new CoverGirl Clean Fresh Tense Lip Oil, and this is called 110 Quench, and you can only get these at CVS. But one of my favorites, because I love a little bit of a pink lip, as you can see right there, it has a little bit of a pinky kind of girly tint to it. And this is very slick on the lips. It smells amazing. It's moisturizing, it's shiny, it's not sticky. It's really, really good. Really love this stuff. I would definitely recommend going to your CVS. One up. Um, I have this NYX. Lip gloss, lip oil, and it is a little pink tint to it. And there it is on the end. And it does have a little bit of a scent to it, and it's a good scent. This one is pretty good on slip, pretty good on moisture, and it's pretty good on shine. Always have to try anything that has a pink tint and is a lip gloss, so. Yeah, that's my NYX one. Last but not least, I have this Siate London brand. This is the travel size version. They do have a full size version. So obviously more expensive. You can get this at Sephora. And this one is a kind of a pinky tint lip gloss. And there's a dew drop of it right there. It smells like watermelon. It's a lip oil so it's very very slick it's not too sticky the shine is okay I wouldn't say it's like super shiny you do have to build it up a little bit but it's a pretty good one especially if you like watermelon that's it for this video if you guys like this video don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and hit the bell for post notifications so you know when I upload again so you can see me again in the future so that's it guys. I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.